Dear Blue Jean, as I sit here writing you this letter, I'm listening to the sound of the midnight train as it moves and changes across the hills. It reminds me of you as it travels to the back of my mind. Now that's a pretty weird idea. I don't know why it should remind me of you. Sometimes I just listen and it doesn't remind me of anything. It seems to create the space and time in which it moves. It comes from nowhere. Anyway, I'm getting off the subject. I really wrote to tell you the bar we used to play at has changed hands again. Do you remember how everyone got together and danced until dawn? Just like a religion. It took an hour to get the tunes out of your head. Then we got stoned, and in that presence we'd talk about our crazy ideas. I remember you said that a child growing up, the growth of the feeling of being inside yourself, and a sound changing over space and time were similar experiences. Their motions had the same shape. Oh, boy. Speaking of younger people, your cousin is growing up fast. When he was four months old, he was sucking his thumb and waving his arms, and after a year he was grabbing hold of blankets and rugs, pulling things toward himself, seeing how close he could get. We must have seemed like pictures on TV. Soon he started talking and opened his mouth wide to describe something big, breathing heavily in and out. To him, each breath was like a thought. When he was one year old, somebody would yawn in the room, and he wouldn't. He described things that weren't anywhere near him. An idea he heard one day, he would describe as his own on the next. When he was two or three and a half years old, he talked to his imaginary companion. Now he's 12 and imagines everything connected to everything else. The more defined the situation gets, the more he spaces out. I guess he wonders if his life is supposed to be a story. Of course he was five when out of the blue he started to speak Polish and recall his past lives. That certainly wasn't in the books. Sometimes you imagine you're in the music and sometimes you're apart from it. I remember the time the band gave your name, Blue Jean. There was a feeling that trouble was built into you, like they say, in your dreams. Both you and I know, you're no victim of circumstance.
course, you do get obsessed, and at those times what you want to know gets drawn toward you. How close can you get? Ghosts appear mostly in February. How do you describe something which is invisible and unknowable? When the train goes by, what should I pay attention to? The sound, or what I see, or what goes on in my mind, or maybe all three of them at once. Three guesses. A coincidence, a connection outside, a connection inside. It's so beautiful to see someone thinking. Consider four billion people walking around with slightly different things in their heads at any given moment. When you're in this country, all the images that support living in the city disappear. The day before you left on that midnight train was the day we made up that weird theory about a history of consciousness. Of course, it was just as arbitrary as any history and started 12,000 years in the past. The people are peaceful, there's no government, and nothing is an example of anything. There are no words for past, present, future, or madness. It's always the first time. However, there is a voice that appears to each of them, barely distinct, softly, in between the other sounds of living. One side of the brain in each person is slowly sending pulses through to the other side. It is inevitable, according to this ordered up theory, that an imaginary space, somewhere in the back of your mind, gets occupied by someone called I, who floats around in the same space it has created. Then we skipped a few thousand years to watch that unidentified inner voice become embodied in the voice of the ruler. Statues were in the center of town, just like today. Images of ancestors with large eyes, eye-to-eye -eye contact, time ceases to exist, a younger and older man, a younger and older woman, eye-to-eye -eye contact, mother and child. When you talk about love, everyone's an authority.
thousand or maybe six thousand years ago, when young women were possessed oracles and older men were hot-blooded prophets for telling the future. Their message was delivered in steady rhythmic verses, always the same rhythm no matter what language. From one side of the brain to the other, from invisible heaven to foggy earth, this was sunlight inside and outside, without yawning or blinking. You can send your consciousness anywhere. And in the prophet's eyes, the ideas on the periphery of his vision frame what he sees. The possibilities are beads of light, constantly changing intensity. He imagines the experience is always the same, and always entirely out of control, somewhere out there. Every 11 and 11 hundredths years, there is a cycle of increased sunspot activity. Every 11 and 1 tenths years, there is a cycle of mass human excitability. If something went one way, and if the space were somehow closed off, the idea was that something had to go the other way. There are so many cycles, you could just as well see the changes as random. Someone called it peaceful coexistence, the way the waves travel through the same medium, the water, and cross through each other transparently without destruction. The rest of the story blew was that the outside voices began to be heard inside 4,100 or maybe 3,700 years ago. People started to write laws down and make treaties. The world was pictured in sets of two, and the ideas of history, motives, and strategies were dreamed up. These went along with war, life stories, and authorities from outer space. On the periphery of this country, someone made up the notion that you could change yourself by changing your consciousness, without connections, beyond contradictions. His blood pressure was highest at 3 in the afternoon and lowest at 3 in the morning. When he started singing with his friends, someone would remember just the words and someone would remember just the tunes. Two points in space and three types of connections. When they went out on a date, each of them imagined his and her mom and dad had come along. A steady structure, a complete decision with only four moves. Yes and no on the first possibility, yes and no on the other one. Did he need that image outside to have that feeling inside? I've changed.
changed since I was young, or has it always been this way? I guess I want a vision beyond consciousness, the way a culture takes 20 years to catch up to what can occur in a flash to one person, someone who's done his thinking before he realizes it. I can accept the way I pay attention to things, even if every 96 minutes I get an urge to talk, eat, or kiss somebody. Yes, just anybody can. And I start to pay attention to the miracles that I do know about. You know, I never set the alarm, and I always wake up on time. Even in a thunderstorm, my mother would wake up only when she heard her baby cry. When I play a piece on the piano once, it goes on rehearsing by itself, and it's easier to play the next time. And there are the coincidences and the invisible ideas that reveal themselves any time you start to go through the motions. Are they really out there, Blue? Going to the center of town by calculated spirals which run down, going to the center of town randomly. All the energy is mysteriously conserved as the bird flies. From time to time I feel another world growing up among the one I experience every day, and it seems no conclusions can be drawn about anyone's eventual fate. Sometimes I put my fingertips on the top of my eyes and apply pressure slightly. Then the pressure is released, and flashes of light still remain floating among the forms that are shaped like networks. That pressure to move the lights is the same as taking on any idea to move my body. One side of my brain keeps rambling on to write me this letter, while the other side is setting it to rhythmic music, migrating from fundamental harmonics to the harmonics of those harmonics, building its own bridge. Part of light to a molecule to fluorescence to warmth to my body and its rhythms and back again. We are not attached or separate in space. Slipping in between the pulses of consciousness, UFOs appear mostly in April, coinciding with the sudden appearance and disappearance of stars. But anyway, it's always the first time. This train is lit by the luminescence of the town and the faint morning light and the light it gives off. That light defines the area all around the train, just as your love defines the way you see the life closest to you. Is that too corny, Blue? Well, you know, that's how we are here. Right soon.